Okay. We do have one speaker this morning. I'd invite uh, Sharon Kramer forward. Ms. Kramer will have two minutes to make her presentation to the board. The only action the board may take is a referral to the chief administrative officer. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to speak very quick since I only have two minutes. My name is Sharon Kramer. I reside in Escondido, California, Mr. Horn's district. Mr. Horn knows a little bit about what I'm going to tell you because I ran into him at Kinko's one day in 2012. We had communication and I've sent him subsequent documentation. I'm a 37-year resident of the County of San Diego, a wife of over 30 years, a mother of two grown college-educated daughters. I have a degree in marketing and I'm a medical journal published author regarding conflicts of interest in United States environmental public health policy and California workmen's compensation policy. In other words, workers' comp insurer fraud written into policy. Um, I'm about ready to have to file a federal lawsuit for racketeering. Um, there's been, I, I, excuse my language, but there's no other way to describe what has been occurring in this county other than political prostitution. I, um, I've been a victim of that for now nine years for exposing workers' comp fraud. I'm not here today to ask you to admonish DA Dumanis for her role in the prostitution and the misapplication of fraud assessment commission funds. I'm not here to ask you to admonish Sheriff Gore for his role of falsifying documents and then claiming that the computer system will not allow it to be changed. I'm not here to ask you to in intercede in litigation. I'm being cyber stalked on the internet by someone who posts under the name of courthouse group, courthouse records department, what it appears that it's a court employee who gets drunk and posts on the internet his desires to see me permanently silenced. I've been to the DA's office and requested that she investigate the cyber stalking, which all she has to do is contact Bob Reap, the attorney of the website here in San Diego, and contact the link that this cyber stalker is providing to find out who's doing this. I'm no, concerned this that this person may go off the deep end and take his desire to see me permanently silenced off the internet and into my home or my adult children's homes. Mrs. Kramer, did you hear that little beep? Yes, I did. And <laughs> that, I'm, was I'm, the, that was the two minutes. Well, what I'm asking is that the supervisors direct DA Dumanis to investigate who is doing the cyber stalking contrary to her personal best interest. I okay. fear for my safety. Thank and you. Can you all, what do I do from here? Do you, thank, can you do it? Or? Thank you. Well, what you have provided us, um, quite an extensive packet of information. And what, what we will do is, as customary, is we'll refer this information to our chief administrative officer, also to the district attorney and to the sheriff. Now, to understand that the Board of Supervisors does not have any legal authority over the operations of either the sheriff's department or the district attorney. But we will refer the documents and we will ask them to take a look at it and take whatever appropriate action that they can take. Thank and you that, very that's much. That's about all I, we can I'm do I'm concerned today. for my physical safety and Understand. any help that you all could provide me would be greatly appreciated. Understand. Thank and you. Thank you for being here today. Mm -hmm. Madam Chairwoman, that concludes public testimony under public communication this morning. <laughs>